That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just said you weren't BS. racist. That is complete no, You BS. don't have to intend racism no, to No, 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 you are it. intending that Your I am racist. Your disrespect of Kamala and Harris that is, is part and parcel of a tradition of disrespect. It's why can't you offensive just, Congresswoman, and it's why can't you it's just, offensive. Why can't I'm not calling you a racist, I'm telling you what the practice is racist. You are, you are, you absolutely are. Why can't you just, let me get it. Disrespecting, no, what's disgusting is your disrespect of her. Professor. This gentleman said, you know what? I you didn't know, what's know her disgusting name. He's to women to is it. her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if, if 25 years ago, white I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women who who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago, for your baby 25 years ago, I became humanity. the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, of the military. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody, we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says, order. I'm gorgeous, and all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to ha have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, <laughs> one or the other. I would <laughs> like them beautiful patriots say my brothers and sisters around the world they say it every day they say it every day i'm gonna repeat it out loud i want y'all to write you might repeat it with me i'm a, but see i'm gonna blank out we on you hey we on the podcast we on the show welcome to the show we we, we got we got to block out our curse word we got to be uh professional Repeat after me. They say it every time. You probably, you probably, this is probably your favorite saying. You probably love this saying. You, you say it probably every day. I know you do. I know them beautiful pages say it every day. You can't make this up. I'm gonna repeat it again. You can't make this up. You just can't. You know? I told y'all, man. These people are frauds, man. They're fronts. You know, tons just want to collect a check. Tons ain't what they say, what they say they is. Especially these race baiting race hustlers. You know? And then it's all started because people, she, she couldn't, she doesn't pronounce her name wrong. And I'm pretty sure we all have been pronouncing her name wrong. Kamala, Kamala, Chameleon, K K Kamala. I, I don't know what it is to be honest myself. I don't know what it is. And I don't know if she's uh, Indian, white, Caucasian, Latino. Uh, 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 is she black? Is she half black? Is she in the middle? Is she, is, is she uh, Jamaican? Is she Haitian? I, I don't know. And I don't care. I hate that we have to do identity politics and hear it all the way to November 5th, man. You know? And then there's some people that actually put identity politics over over policies i i, I it's, it's it's completely far gone you know it, it is a disgrace what we what we've uh, seen take place and some of the things that have happened that's coming out of people's mouths and people in these interviews and half of them don't even know what's going on they don't they don't they don't they don't they don't, they don't care about other people but themselves you know i don't care about these holly especially these hollywood these elitists, these, 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 these actors, these artists, these ball players, we, we might love their talents and how high they can jump up and down and sing and dance, but they're not paying the bills at the end of the day, man. People are struggling and dying, you guys. And this lady can't, can't answer a simple question on the economy. On the economy. On the border. She gives a middle class story or says she did this. Well, I was a prosecutor. But what's the plan? What is your plan? She has no plan. Hate to break it to you. So they're going to continue with the, with the same rhetoric, the same lies, the same brainwashing. Project 2025. I mean, it's all crap. It's all crap, man. And as you can see, this race beta race hustler, you know, 
And they, and they all get in their feelings. Black this, the, and then they said the white man this. They blame the white man. They, they make excuses. But look at this brother here. He's sending kissy emojis. You know, we would look good together. After calling, after it literally calling this woman, calling this woman racist live on air. You know, we would make some beautiful mixed babies. I want a taste of that vanilla. That vanilla. That vanilla. That sweet old vanilla. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that fella wants some of that vanilla. <laughs> I tell y'all, y'all know Rick know about that vanilla now. You <laughs> that when you get some of that vanilla, hey, hey, they talking about once you go black, you don't go back. Well, you get some of that vanilla too now. That vanilla changed your life too. I'm just trying to tell you. <laughs> y'all know I love them all, man. Asian. Please don't 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 clip this and send it to 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 mo, to, mo, to don't don't please don't clip this. I, look now, I'm just speaking. I, hey, I'm y'all favorite comedian. Don't take everything with a grain of take it with a grain of salt. Now, you know. But uh, yeah, I like them. I like them. You know, Asian. I like all races. Everybody. Everybody, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 we, we love the diversity over here. Amen. You know. But I just want to tell y'all, man, I love y'all. And you can't make this stuff up. I, I, all I can do is show it to y'all, man. You know, and it's, it's, it's absolutely sad. You know, what was taking, it's a, it's a disgrace, man. You know, these, these people who they say they are, and then behind closed doors, you know, they're, com they're completely, completely different, man. But you just can't make it up, man. I got a lot of love for Nancy Mace, man. Top top shelf congresswoman, you know, and uh, loved her her previous taste. We covered her on the channel a couple times, you know. The diff it's, it's 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 very clear, you know. And I love that a lot of these Republicans are standing their ground, man. You know, calling for what it is, but they they call they call us racist, you know. When we say things like DEI, didn't earn it, didn't earn it. Drunk entire inventory. It has it has a lot of meaning. That's my meaning though. <laughs> you know, DEI Kamala. DEI Kamala didn't earn it. Not one single vote. Not one single vote. Not one and not, not a primary or not nothing. Most unpopular. Worst approval rating. And, and, and you wonder why she can't she can't complete a sentence, you know they they don't they they don't they don't want to talk to the press they don't want to talk to the public they're hiding from interviews. She does an interview completely bombs it. Word spaghettis, word salads. Same story repeats the same exact thing from Monday to Friday. She said the exact same thing Wednesday, Thursday. Everybody's like, why is this lady repeating herself? When is she actually going to answer the question? Like I said, I don't see how people are clapping for, for that ticket. They could have did better. Shame on them Democrats, man. And this is why people are packing up their bags now. In the middle of the day, late at night, in the afternoon. It doesn't matter the time. People are packing up their bags. And people, you, you, you would never thought that on the, the Trump train, it's on the Trump train. Anti-Trumpers, never Trumpers, everybody. And all they can do now is run on joy, pride. Let's see if we can get, you know, this, this celebrity to give us votes. They're hoping for celebrities to give, to give votes now. Let's have free concerts. And let's keep talking about Project 2025. Even though it's not a Trump's presidency. Then you have the, the, the director to come out and say it. It's, this is not President Trump. Project 2025 is not President Trump. The director came out and said it. But people are clapping for failures, man. Failed policies. People, the, the, 
a, a, a leadership that puts we the people last. Hardworking taxpayer American citizens last. And people are clapping for it, clapping for these puppets. I just don't see it. But now you see a lot of people waking up. And if things are done fair, I believe it's a landslide. Just saying, I'm just going to say it. Some of y'all say, Rick, don't say that. But I'm just saying, if it's done fair, it's a landslide. Just being honest with you. The leadership is completely different. And they're still going to paint a, a negative picture on the Trump and Vance ticket. They're still going to take things out of context. They're going to call them racist. They're going to, they call me racist. So I already know. They're going to spew out all this disgusting stuff that is misinformation all over social media, which they're doing now. Just a bunch of crap. And you got these people on CNN, they claim that they're this and that and this and that. They believe this and that. But behind closed doors, it, I'm telling you, it'll all come out, man. But again, shout out to Nancy Mace, man. Top shelf congresswoman. Expose this fella. He think he finna get a piece of that vanilla. Sending pictures and kissy emojis. and Unbelievable, man. You can't make this stuff up. You just can't make this stuff up. Let's check it out. This is the full clip from it. Uh, chair recognizes the gentlelady from South Carolina, Ms. Mace. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my colleagues across the aisle said that those that, that cannot pronounce Kamala's name correctly are elementary aged children. I would like to enter into the record an article by Newsweek saying Bill Clinton pronounces Kamala Harris name wrong during DNC speech. Bill Everybody pronounces her name wrong. Everybody. I still do it. I don't even know what to pronounce. Just let's be honest. I don't know what to pronounce, y'all. You probably don't know either. You probably laughing because it's true. I don't know what a race is. I don't know, but I don't care. I don't care. Is she qualified? Is she qualified? Is this woman qualified and fit for the presidency? Is she a presidential candidate? And I've come to conclusion, you know, with my own eyes, my own ears, my own research, looking at, you know, looking at everything. She is unfit. Worse than Joe Biden. 81 million votes. 81 million. Mr. President, you dropped your ice cream, your snow cone on the floor. Mr. <laughs> Mr. President, you dropped your snow cone on the floor. Yeah, go and pick it up. Mr. President, wake up. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I mean, <laughs> I mean, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The sun just came out. Well, it's been out for the last, the last five hours. The, it, wake up, Mr. President. Excuse me, where is the president? He's on vacation. What the fuck? He just went on vacation yesterday. A day before yesterday. He just got back. He went on another vacation? <laughs> uh, I love y'all, man. I'm glad that I get to be real with y'all, man. Because this is, this is an absolute disgrace, man, what people are clapping for. But, you know, they say I'm, I'm a racist. I'm a liar. I'm this and that. They call Rick all kind of stuff. Uncle Tom, bootlicker. Yeah, especially my people, man. You know, because they, they believe if you ain't black and you ain't Democrat. Bill Clinton, along with Al Sharpton, rapper oh. Lil Jon. Let's not forget that Joe Biden can't say her name right. Neither can Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. And this morning on Morning Joe, Joan Bias called her a camel. So I don't want to hear it. It's <laughs> fake outrage. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody, we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says, order. I'm gorgeous in all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. Uh, on to the issue at hand. I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for a witness is being here today. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have presided over the worst presidential administration in American history.
Biden and Kamala Harris inherited a country with a strong economy and next to zero inflation. Under the Biden-Harris administration, inflation skyrocketed, skyrocketed, wages stagnated, and the American families are struggling to make ends meet, as we're all well aware of today. Biden and Kamala inherited a world at peace and turned it into a world at war. Our allies are under attack, our adversaries emboldened, and America embarrassed on the world stage. In fact, even being forced to evacuate seven embassies during this administration. Biden and Kamala inherit a country with the most secure border in our nation's history. They flung our borders wide open to the largest invasion of illegal aliens our country has ever seen. The illegal aliens Biden and Kamala have led into our country have, have gone on to rape and murder American citizens, including our women and girls, including 158 Democrats who voted against deporting illegals who are here, murdering, raping, and uh, who are also pedophiles, harming our women and girls. Absolute disgrace, man. Absolute disgrace. You know? And, and, and people know what's going on. And guess what? They still clap for these puppets, man. They still clap for failed policy. And we, 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 then what we do, we blame, they blame Trump. Oh, he voted against the bill that we're going to let more, millions of more come in and fund the war. Oh. Biden and Kamala can't even tell us the difference between a woman and a mentally ill man in a dress. All of, of all Joe and Kamala's many failings, I'd like to focus my five minutes today on immigration, I'm down to about two, so we'll be quick. During her failed 2020 presidential campaign, well before her coup against Joe Biden, Kamala Harris completed an ACLU candidate questionnaire outlining her policy positions. I'd like to examine a few of her responses and how they've informed her work as border czar since she says her values have not changed. Mr. Chairman, I would like to enter into the record uh, this questionnaire, ACLU Rights for All Candidate Questionnaire 2019, Kamala Harris. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you. Uh, one of the strangest responses from Kamala in the questionnaire was when she indicated she supported providing taxpayer-funded so-called gender-affirming care for illegal aliens in immigration detention, which we all know is cutting off their private parts, taxpayer-funded cutting off of their private parts. So, Mr. Krikorian, is this occurring under this administration, and what are the serious safety consequences it may pose? Uh, well, I mean, uh, the safety consequences of the procedures themselves I'm not qualified to talk about, but clearly it serves as yet one more incentive for people to illegally immigrate into the United States, in this case, uh, people seeking a particular kind of uh, uh, medical procedures. In the questionnaire, Kamala pledges to slash funding for ICE, cut immigration detention by more than 50 percent, and even express support for ending immigration detention. Have Biden-Harris uh, presidential budget requests reflected Kamala's desire to cut ICE funding and oh, immigration absolutely. detention? Detention funding, absolutely. It's, it's decreased significantly, and in fact, it needs to be increased significantly because detention is the one way you're going to be able to deter people who want to come into the United States and be released. If you don't release them, the appeal of trying and spending all of that money is significantly less. Um, is, uh, she pledged to end the use of ICE detainers and criticize the cooperation between ICE and state and local law enforcement. How is this going to negatively affect our country? It would make it extremely difficult to enforce immigration law because ICE is a relatively small agency and doesn't walk around the streets asking people what their green cards are. The main vehicle for finding illegal aliens, if you don't do worksite enforcement, which this administration has essentially stopped, is working with state and local law enforcement. When they arrest people for state and local crimes, their fingerprints go to DHS and they're flagged as somebody that they know to be an illegal immigrant. A detainer is the request um, ICE sends out to say, hold on to this person for 48 hours at least, I mean up to 48 hours so we can go and get them. If you're not using detainers, it is one of the most pro-criminal policies you could imagine because the only people protected by stopping ICE detainers or not honoring them as sanctuary cities do, the only people protected are criminals. 
So it is a pro-criminal policy as well as an anti-immigration enforcement in general policy. Thank you, Mr. But hey, y'all, you just can't make this up. I hope y'all enjoyed this video or part of the show. We got a couple more things to get into tonight, so make sure y'all stop by. Huge shout out to our, our new channel members. Uh, we love the Keep Climbing family, man. You got, Everybody's a part of the Keep Climbing family, though, man. We all got a mountain to climb. We all live in this fast, fast time travel, you guys. You know? It's fast, fast time travel, and I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. I love y'all. I love every last one of y'all, man. But let me know what y'all think of all this, man. They got this fella on here. He won't taste that vanilla. He, you know, after you know, after everything went on, that fella shot his shot, shot his shot. You know, and he got rejected. And I mean, she rejected this fella to the public, <laughs> to the public family. That fella wanted some of that vanilla. That vanilla. Yeah, buddy, that vanilla. Yeah, that vanilla. He wants some of that vanilla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. But then he got, man, humili humiliated to the public with a big fat rejection from Nancy Mace. Shout out to you, Nancy. Got love for you, Nancy. Keep doing your thing, woman. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, a lot of them, a lot, but hey, a lot of them, them uh, Republican women are beautiful. A lot of them conservatives that lean to the right, I'm telling you, they some beautiful, beautiful, I'm telling you, beautiful, beautiful. We got a lot of beautiful family members a part of the channel. Beautiful. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I don't know what it is about them, them, them uh, conservatives, them, them Republicans, you know, I, I just, I don't know what it is, you know? Yeah. Beautiful, I tell you. A couple of them follow me on Instagram. I say, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I say, yeah, y'all some, 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 y'all, they be strong and, 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 and pulls out their pistol and everything. I say, man, look at that right there. Yeah. Yeah. From all ages, too. Yeah. From uh, 18 and up. 70s, 80s. Yeah. Some of y'all in y'all 80s and 90s look good as hell, too, man. I tell you, y'all taking care of y'all self, man. Keep doing it. 80 and 90 years old, taking, looking good. I'm happy for all y'all, man. You know? But I love y'all. Make sure y'all spread love to one another, man, because you never know what people are going through in these times. Families are struggling. People are, are, on, their, are on their last leg, man. You know? And we, you, we have to continue to spread the love. We have to unify. And I encourage you guys to register and go out and vote, man. You know? And I believe if this thing is done fair this year, history will be done on that map. History will be, will be done. Things are going to turn red. I'm telling you. But hey, I love y'all. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Peace and love, family.